Hello students, my name is Alok Simwal and in today's topic I am going to discuss about introduction, classification and mode of action of thyroid and antithyroid drugs. So first of all introduction of thyroid gland and thyroid hormones. The thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped organ located in the base of neck. The function of the thyroid gland is to take iodine and convert it into thyroid hormones thyroxin and triiodothyronin. In short form thyroxin is known as T4 and triiodothyronin is indicated by T3. These are tyrosine based hormones produced by the thyroid gland that are primarily responsible for regulation of metabolism. Thyroid stimulating hormone TSH which is produced by the pituitary gland acts to stimulate hormone production by the thyroid gland. Later studies showed that an even more potent iodine containing hormone existed which is now known as triiodothyronine. Evidences now indicate that thyroxine may be the storage form of hormone whereas triiodothyronine is the circulating form. Several different disorders can arise when your thyroid produces too much hormone. The condition is known as hyperthyroidism or not enough hormones. The condition is known as hypothyroidism. Thyroid disorders include goiter which is enlargement of the thyroid gland, hyperthyroidism when your thyroid gland makes more thyroid hormones than your body needs. Next is hypothyroidism when your thyroid gland does not make enough thyroid hormones, thyroid cancer, th thyroid nodules, thyroid nodules are lumps in the thyroid gland and several other disorders. Now thyroid drugs. Thyroid drugs or thyroid hormones are used to supplement low thyroid levels in the people with hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is a condition in which the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormones to meet the needs of the body. Doctors may use the term an underactive thyroid gland to describe hypothyroidism. Levothyroxine and leothyronine are the drug candidates which are used in the case of hypothyroidism. Following is the structure of levothyroxine sodium. It is a sodium salt of levoisomer of thyroxine which is an active physiological principle obtained from thyroid gland of domesticated animals used for food by humans. Levothyroxine sodium is used in the replacement therapy of decreased thyroid function which is due to hypothyroidism. Next drug candidate is Leothyronine sodium. Leothyronine sodium occurs in vivo together with Levothyroxine sodium. It has the same qualitative activities as thyroxine but it is more active. Levothyronine sodium is well absorbed from gastrointestinal tract and rapidly cleared from the bloodstream. This drug candidate is bound more loosely to plasma proteins than thyroxine. This is probably due to the less acidic phenolic hydroxyl groups. Its uses are same as levothyroxine sodium. Next drug category belongs to antithyroid drugs. These drugs are used to treat hypothyroidism in order to reduce the excessive thyroid activity before surgery and to treat and maintain patients not having surgery. Hyperthyroidism usually requires surgery 
but before surgery the patient must be prepared by preliminary abolition of the hyperthyroidism through the use of antithyroid drugs hyperthyroidism occurs when your thyroid gland produces too much of the hormone thyroxin it can accelerate your body's metabolism causing unintentional weight loss and a rapid or irregular heartbeat two of the main antithyroid drugs include propyl thioracil and methimazole thiourea and related compounds are antithyroid in nature but they are too toxic for clinical use the useful drug candidates in this category are two thioracil derivatives and closely related to thiomidazole derivatives here you can see the structures of propyl thioracil and methimazole propyl thioracil is two thioracil derivative while methimazole is two thioimidazole derivative next is mode of action of thyroid drugs levothyroxin acts like the endogenous thyroid hormone thyroxin in the liver and kidney t4 is converted to t3 which is the active metabolite in order to maintain increase in solubility the thyroid hormones attached to thyroid binding proteins such as thyroxin binding globulin and thyroxin binding prealbumin after this transport and binding to thyroid hormone receptors in the cytoplasm and nucleus takes place thus it acts as a replacement for natural hormone thyroxin and symptoms of thyroxin deficiency are relieved leotrionin sodium which is the next drug candidate in this category binds to nuclear thyroid receptors which then bind to thyroid hormone response elements of target genes as a result leotrionin sodium induces gene expression that is required for normal growth and development leotrionin sodium is more potent and has a more rapid action than thyroxine t4 next one is mode of action of antithyroid drugs so before starting mode of action of antithyroid drugs we have to understand formation of thyroid hormones thyroxine t4 and triiodothyronine t3 are produced from thyroid follicular cells within the thyroid gland a process regulated by the thyroid stimulating hormone tsh secreted by the anterior pituitary gland thyroglobin the precursor of t3 and t4 is produced by the thyroid follicular cells before being secreted and stored in the follicular lumen iodide is actively absorbed from the blood stream by a process called iodide trapping in this process sodium is co-transported with iodide from the basolateral side of the membrane into the cell and then concentrated in the thyroid follicles to about 30 times its concentration in the blood through a reaction with enzyme thyroperoxidase iodine is bound to tyrosine residues in the thyroglobin molecules to form monoiodotyrosine in short form it is known as mit and diiodotyrosine in short form which is known as dit linking two moieties of dit produces t4 combining one particle of mit and one particle of dit produces t3 antithyroid drugs prevent thyroid hormone synthesis by inhibiting the thyroid peroxidase catalyzed reactions 
and blocking iodine organification. Thank you.